Okay, so I found this tier list for PS4, PS5 exclusives that okay. I think because I there were some other ones that just had so many games that I don't know if we could get yeah. them all. So yeah, this one's I fine. Think this okay. one seems good. Um, you probably have played more of these than I have. So probably. I just I got my PS5 more recently, and I've been using it to just play Souls games mostly for the past year. Or so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so Ratchet and Clank, I think that's a ripped apart. Yes, that game was great. I would give that an A. Yeah, I played the first level or two, and I really liked it. There's just it was right after I got my PlayStation, and there were just so many games that I didn't stick with it. But it it seemed yeah. really fun, so. Okay, Detroit Become uh, I've, Human. I've never played that. I haven't either. I want to. It looks really good. I love those kind of games where you can like make your choices and, and it affects the, the game and it's all about that. So that's one yeah. that's on my list, but I have not played it. Ghost of Tsushima. It's on here twice. For oh, reason. that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, uh, I'll give it... I really oh, like this game. Like just from what I played, I think it's at least a tier. It seems really good. But go ahead, I'll let you since you played the game. I love it. I love the way how you like instead of a compass, you know, it's like you follow the wind, the wind and it's yeah. just a beautiful freaking game and story. I, I I love it. I'm a sucker for that. I would give it an A. I'll put it above Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, I think I could see that. This one we'll just put here since it's an extra. Yeah. Okay. God of War. This looks like not Ragnarok. Oh, that's an S tier for me. Yeah, for sure. Perfection of a game. Yeah, so good. I love that one. That might be one of my favorite PlayStation only games that I played. Mm -hmm. okay, Man, Last that might be Us. one of my favorite games for the last decade. Like that's how much I love that game. Yeah, it's really good. Last of Us, part one. Oh, uh, that's an S, too. Yep. I Amazing freaking game. You Probably the, the best story-based game I've ever played. Funny little story. Do you know... I may have told you this recently, but do you know the reason why I haven't beaten The Last of Us? Well, I don't remember now. It's your fault. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. You got a PS4. We didn't have one. You got one. You played through Last of Us, and then you're like, dude, you have to play Last of Us. It's so good. <laughs> so I started playing on your PS4, got halfway through, and then like three days after you told me that, you sold your PS4. <laughs> like, I don't even remember that. So I just have like half a game done, and then I had I would have had to restart all over if I ever got a PlayStation. Uh, game, so <laughs> Yeah, I see what you're saying. That sucks. Uh, that's okay. My bad. <laughs> I'll, I'll get through it eventually. I'll go back and do it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you ever complain about me not playing it it's your fault <laughs> I, all right yes you're right all right i'll accept the okay last of us part two the controversial uh, freaking one. d really wow <laughs> i'll give it a c because the gameplay is better than the first one but god i hate that story more than anything okay and if you like the story i'm sorry but i hate this game dang but I'll yeah. give it a C because the gameplay is better as far as like the gameplay and the, the look, it is better in the first game. Gotcha. Yeah, but story wise, God. I've heard similar things about the story. Yeah, some people like it, but I don't know, most people don't. <laughs> yeah. If you do good for you, I wish I could. <laughs> okay. It made me it made me mad. Like okay. that it's not just I hate the story, it made me mad. That sucks. But uh, anyway, sorry. I could go on, on on and on about this game. You're good. Horizon, I would give an S. I love that game. Uh, I would give an A, but I get I get why you put an S. This I, I just... is my wife's oh, favorite sorry, story in a video game. We played together, and she absolutely loved the story, and it was so much fun playing together. So I'd give it an S. I love it, too. And to me, it's just, especially the second one, it's just really bloated, in my opinion. I haven't played the second one, actually. We, oh, we started I, I, it, but we didn't finish it. It's good. No, no, I, I do love the game too. I just would, I would not put it, especially above God of War or Last of Us. No, I probably wouldn't put it above God of War, but, but I would put it in S for me. But I would, I would probably place it right behind Ghost of Tsushima. But. Gotcha. 
We can play yeah, no, that good. for you. I... No, I mean, hey, you, it's your tier list too. Okay. <laughs> it's true. It's one of the few games I did play all the way through. So I'll, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Days Gone. I did not play this one. I did, and I think it's on. I think it's underrated. I'd put it at B. Okay. I think it's a fun game, uh, and a lot of people kind of look over it, look past it. I mean, uh, yeah. but hmm. I enjoyed it. The open world zombie hordes and hordes of them. I thought it was a great game, but again, it's just. I mean, it's a zombie game, right? So yeah, yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, we'll do Marvel Spider-Man first. I thought this uh, was a good, me personally, really good game. Yeah, I, I would I would put this at S. Yeah, I could see it at um, S. It was honestly, I could just pick up this game and go swinging through New York and have a blast. Like I didn't even have to progress yeah, the story. Like I just would just go and have fun, just swinging around. That's pretty impressive that they pulled that it's, off. Yeah, you, it's replay. It's replayable. I'm a sucker for Spider-Man. The villains are awesome. The story's awesome. The side quests are good. I guess you could argue so. Some of them could get a little tedious, uh, yeah, a little and bit. repetitive. Uh, but yeah, I'll put it probably where you have it is where I'd put it. Well, I mean, I'll put it above Horizon, but like for our tier, right yeah. there. Okay. And then it looks like the last one is Spider-Man Miles Morales. It looks like there's a bunch of copies on this one, but oh yeah, uh, I'll put that one at A. Okay. I don't think it's good. It's it it looks amazing, and what I like about it is I do like the smaller scale. It doesn't take as long to complete, so it's a nice little bite size gotcha. version. Yeah. You know? and, and, and you play as Miles, which is, I love his abilities, and I love how in Spider-Man Two it looks like you're gonna be able to kind of play between both. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, I haven't looked too much into that. Um, yeah, but like I, I, I like it. Miles is an interesting character, although it's hard because now that we have into the Spidey verse, like you know that kind of feels like Miles now. <laughs> yeah, true. But uh, no, it's good. I'm gonna download this and then look for a different one to see if we missed any. Because I feel like there's some missing. Um, let me do PlayStation Five. Well, I mean, there there's no, you know, Uncharted games. Yeah. But... Let me look at. PlayStation Two. But, like, look at this one. There's so many games. Yes. So, yeah, Uncharted's. Where would you put Uncharted in that list? I'd put all the Uncharted's in, in A, probably. Okay. Or Uncharted 4, I'd probably put an S. The rest of the Uncharted's all A. Gotcha. I feel like I had a different one. Let's see what... Yeah, this has a little more. So, like, Horizon Forbidden West. Let me just rename this. Um, Demon Souls is on here. Yeah, uh, Horizon uh, Forbidden West, I'd put an A. Yeah, we didn't get all the way through that one, so I could see that. Um, what about the... PS5 game. Actually, for what it was, I thought it was excellent. Yeah, it's a cute game. I didn't play all the way through, but it's it was pretty fun, pretty cute. Yeah, I mean, I'd put that A. Like, I think it utilized the the haptic triggers and everything perfect. Like for it for what it is, you know what I mean. Like, I wouldn't yeah. play that over other games for what it is, though. Yeah, I, I liked it. Demon Souls. Uh, what else? Demon Souls. I would put. It's not my favorite Souls game, but it's still a good game. It's, it looks amazing on the PS5. Yeah, it does. I think I would put it at A, just because I love the Souls formula, but I could see it being lower, just because it's like I, older. Yeah. I I would put it at A, but that's that's because it was my first Souls-like game. Gotcha. So I have like a soft spot for it. Yeah. Um, I never played Death, Death Loop, Loop, but I think we... We kind of talked about that. I'll put that like at a C. Very yeah. average. I never played Bug Snacks. Never either. played. 
Okay. Is that PlayStation All Stars? Uh, no. Yeah, never played. Final Fantasy 15 isn't, or 16 isn't really a. Well, I mean, I guess it's made by Sony. I've never played 16. Or. This is, that's not the one that just came out, is it? It is, it is, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I love that. I'll put that at A. Yeah, it. The, like, the set pieces and the, like, the like fights with the titans or whatever they're called is really mm -hmm. cool and the combat's pretty cool mm -hmm. too it's very different than other final fantasy games yeah uh, but but i liked it yeah i i liked it because i me personally i do not like turn-based games i love turn -based in the games. style of well i'll say in the style of like the basic old school ones in the style of like pokemon those. and stuff i <laughs> i don't I, I don't at all. So like this was a good, good, I guess for yeah, someone like me. Yeah, felt more like Devil May Cry than Final Fantasy, but I'm I'm fine with that. For, yeah. I mean that's where Final it did Fantasy feel like Devil May Cry. It really did. I think actually. it was made by like the person, the like lead director was the guy oh, who really? made Devil May Cry. Yeah. It definitely did feel like it though. You're right. That's a good Ragnarok. comparison. I'll put it at S. It's it's so conflicting to me because I think I like God of War Ragnarok more, but there's something special to me about that 2018 God of War. Maybe it's because it was so unexpected. Yeah, it was really unexpected. I never because I actually Ragnarok. I need to. I still prefer God of War 2018, even though I think God of War Ragnarok is a better version of that, and I think it's just. I think it's just because it was so unexpected. I wasn't expecting a great game like that, so I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, S tier, regardless. Okay. Um, we did Ratchet and Clank. I'll probably put these two together, this and the other one, okay. and then put that at the end of the video. Returnal. I only played a little bit of Returnal. Was this a Sony game? Yeah, I think it's only on, on PS5. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I've never played it. It looks It looks cool. I think I would put it a B. It, it was pretty interesting. I didn't play that. It didn't hold me that long, but I do like roguelikes where you you know you die and yeah build up your character. And, and yeah, keep doing okay. Loops. It's it's and I had never played one quite like it with the like first person shooter. There probably mm -hmm. are, but I just hadn't played any like that. So it it was pretty cool. I definitely want to try it for sure. Okay, let me save this one and I'll Sony 2. I'll splice them together. <laughs> 